Hello people in this video let us quickly look at the development of ear okay embryology. So first of all we will start with how the auricle or the pinna develops. So this is what you see here. So this is the fetus you can easily know there is something here and that is becoming the auricle or the pinna. So what are they saying about this? Um, here you can also see guys this is the tragus right. One whatever is marked as one right this is the tragus here. So they are saying about the embryo. The sixth week of embryonic life, a series of six tubercles appear around the first branchial cleft. Okay. So, some six tubercles are appearing around the first branchial cleft. So, the tragus developed from the uh, tubercle which is from the first arch. The rest of them are developing from the remaining tubercles which are from the second arch. So, six tub tubercles. First is from the first arch. First arch and rest are from the other second arch okay initially the spinna is on the low side of the neck then it moves lateral and cranial they are seeing in case you don't know what these arches are they are talking about so here you can see so these are the arches so here you can see this is one arch then another arch then another arch then another arch same thing they have shown here isn't it these are the arches so uh, from the inside whatever is marked the arrow that will be the pouch and from the outside whatever is there that will be the cleft. So, this is the arch okay. Between these arches you will have pouch and cleft. So, now we got the auricle pinna. Let us move on now to which one? External auditory meatus. Where is this external auditory canal? Here you can see this is the external auditory canal right. So, how does this develop? Very easily if you look at this the branchial cleft right. That is nothing but the external auditory canal as simple as that. So, whatever this is, this is going to be your branchial cleft, the first one. The first branchial cleft is becoming your external auditory canal. This is around 16 to 28th week, okay. At this stage, let us finish off the tympanic membrane development also. Tympanic, yeah. Tympanic membrane also we will finish off, okay. So, it is very easy to see here. Where is the tympanic membrane first of all? Here, right. This is tympanic membrane. So, what happened? This is cleft and from the side what you have? Pouch. Between this cleft and pouch, whatever is there in middle, it is becoming tympanic membrane. So, this tympanic membrane will have the all the three layers. Okay. So, it will have outer ectoderm, inner endoderm and middle mesoderm. Three layers also it will have that is tympanic membrane. So, we are done with tympanic membrane development. Now, let us see how the middle ear cleft develops. So, here they are saying the eustachian tube, the tympanic cavity, the attic, the antrum and the mastoid air cells develop from the endoderm of the tubotympanic recess. Where is this tubotympanic recess? So, tubotympanic recess is here. So, that will be endoderm. Yes. So, the endoderm of tubotympanic recess makes sense. So, where does this come from? This comes from the first and partly from the second pharyngeal pouch. Remember from inside whatever is coming that is pouch. So, from outside whatever is there, it is going inside that is cleft. This is pouch, right. So, the first and the second uh, uh, pouch, right. First pouch and partially second pouch, they will form the tubotympanic recess and the, uh, what is that, tympanic cavity, antrum, air cells, etc. Then what should we study? So, malleus incus, how do they form? Where are the malleus incus here? Right. So, here they have shown how the bones, uh, ossicles come. So, they are derived from mesoderm. Yes, they are in the middle from the mesoderm. See here, they are neither from the cleft nor the pouch. Somewhere in the middle they seem to be arising. So, they are definitely from the mesoderm. Right. So, here they are saying the malleus and the incus develop from the mesoderm of the first arch while the Stapes that is coming from the second arch. So, everything is mesoderm only, isn't it? So, here you have some mesenchymal condensation which is they are showing here the malleus incus at the stapes. So, suddenly you can see these blue things arise from where obviously from somewhere in the mid uh, from the mesoderm, right? So, you have the malleus incus and stapes and they have entered the tympanic cavity. Tympanic cavity is formed by the pouch. Now, we have to move on to the development of this inner ear in which inner ear you have two things right membranous and bony. Let us look at membranous part now. 
so membranous uh, will be all uh, the semicircular what are they called as semicircular ducts right semicircular canal refers to the bony part but here we are trying to look at the membranous so anyways we will look at the uh, membranous what is blue inside that is the membranous outside little is purple purple will be the bony so here we will try to look at the semicircular ducts right membranous means what and all will be there semicircular ducts will be there utricle saccule then cochleas duct all those will be membranous so here this starts in the third week of fetal life completed by 16th week let's see exactly what is happening here so they are talking up about some placode see some auditory placode comes okay first of all ectoderm yes obviously outside uh, in the region of hind brain there will be some otic placode obviously as it is outside you can say ectoderm and then this starts going inside this is the otic placode they have shown right uh, uh, and it starts going inside right and it will form the auditory vesicle or the otocyst okay let's look at this so here you can see that placode started invaginating it formed an otic pit otic pit has a opening outside then the opening went off and it became an otic vesicle or an auditory vesicle or a otocyst okay it is an otocyst all this will become what finally membranous uh, inner ear in membranous inner ear so this one whatever has formed now the otic vesicle is going to differentiate into the endolymphatic duct and sac the utricle the semicircular ducts the saccule and the cochlea so so this inner ear is also called as labyrinth it has two parts right what and all does it have it has bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth membranous labyrinth you saw now how it develops how does the bony labyrinth develop also we have to look at much they didn't explain guys they just said the bony thing will develop around this uh, membranous part so exactly some more details on the cochlea they have shown here okay if you want you can look at this they have said here that the semicircular canals and the utricle develop before earlier than the pars inferior that is saccule and cochlea okay pars superior you have superior that will be the semicircular canals and utricle these develop first and then you have development of the pars inferior okay so this develops first develops before you can say the pars inferior okay see development of the external and middle ear are quite independent of the development of the inner ear okay so uh, inner ear develops uh, separately middle and external ear develops separately so sometimes inner can be fine external won't be fine or external can be fine inner won't be fine anyways the cochlea has developed sufficiently by 20 weeks of gestation so the fetus can hear in the womb of the mother that is what they say it can hear but can it understand what do you think anyway so the story of abhimanyu says that he heard how to enter the chakravyuha when he was in his mother's womb so when is the cochlea sufficiently developed 20 weeks very good so let's take a recap of what we have seen in this video development of ear the embryology we saw the pinna auricle develops from uh from where some hillocks some tubercles or hillocks right six of them tragus is from the first arch they say external auditory meatus tympanic membrane how it develops basically tympanic membrane has all three layers ectoderm mesoderm endoderm middle ear cleft how it develops then how does the malleus and incups develop they all are from mesoderm right then membranous inner ear inner ear this otic placode then otic pit then otic vesicle or otic cyst around it you will have the bony membranous uh, the bony uh, inner ear develop so pars superior develops before pars inferior then okay development of external and middle ear are independent from development of inner ear then we saw cochlea sufficiently developed by 20 weeks of gestation that's all for now bye 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 bye